Hi everyone, Photoshop is finally back on my Mac and so I'm ready for my next tutorial that will be about how to paste real fabric onto your croquis. We will use puppet warp and a few other tricks and at the end our illustration will look more or less as you see right now. Alright, let's start. I will leave a few layers visible since I did some work from before. Say you want to start with your chunky sweater. The first thing you will do is you will select it. I usually use the laser tool since it is very quick and very easy to control. So you will go all around your garment edge to completely select it. The most important thing is when you're done to save your selection. Select save selection. You will name it say sweater and then you will simply click OK. If you do that, you will have your selection always ready for you to use. So now, we will open the fabric we want to use on the sweater, which is a nice knit that I have here. So we open it with the move tool, we separate the window from the layer we were working on, and then we'll simply drag the fabric and drop it on our croquis. Remember that everything has to be deselected at this point. As a next step, we will set our fabric as a multiply layer in a way that our croquis will be visible underneath. It is now time to load the selection we did before, sweater. Here it is. Can you see the marching ends all around your garment? Now we can select, inverse our selection and with a simple backspace click get rid of the unwanted fabric. You can then play with the opacity of the sweater layer just to get the effect that you want to have. Time to color our skirt. Once again, I will open one fabric that I want to use, which is actually a real skirt that I want to paste on my croquis. I will separate it again as I did before, and with the move tool, I will drag it and drop it on my illustration layer. Don't forget to set it as a multiply in a way that you're gonna see through your lines and you will be able to adjust your fabric in a way that you want. So I'm making this skirt bigger to suit the size of my illustration. After positioning the fabric properly, it's now time to use the magic tool of the puppet work. It is available under the edit menu. Clicking on your fabric, you will see yellow dots. Those dots are points where you can drag and drop your fabric in a way that it will follow the movement of the body underneath. As you see, I am distorting the fabric on purpose in a way that it follows the flow of the skirt.
when I'm done, I will simply press the enter key on my keyboard. Now it's time to load my skirt selection, which I did from before. And once again, I will select inverse my selection and press the backspace key. There we go. The skirt is done. With the smudge tool, you can consider adjusting the little imperfections of the fabric folds. As shown in the previous tutorial, you can then use the burn and dodge tool to better define shadows and highlights. Then keep going with different fabrics to fill the wall illustration. As you are seeing, I'm using the same method to fill a stripe that was on my skirt and the leggings my croquis is wearing and so on. So when you will be done, your illustration will look exactly like that. I hope you enjoy it. I hope Every passage was clear and if you didn't get something, just let me know. Bye!